Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, when, what was the date that Davidson County and Chevy County were forced into this agreement? Do you know what that date was? I don't know. We were, what are you talking about, forced into well, the agreement? Well, it sounded like you thought we were forced into this agreement. You're trying to save us from getting out of this agreement. I, I, I think about 30 years ago they both entered into this agreement voluntarily. Would that be the information you had? Well, I think family, when I said 30 years, I think family, our, our Planned Parenthood has been receiving funds for 30 years. But Davidson County entered into this agreement, right? I mean, voluntarily. I assume, yes. Okay. Uh, are you interested in, in possibly putting a tax increase on Davidson and Shelby County? Is that what this bill is attempting to do, raise our taxes? No. Because you know that if we take these, this money, that when that money runs out, we still have to keep provide no services. You do understand that, don't you? They provide services now all year. No, no, no. We don't. We don't. We don't apply them this amount. We we, we don't budget for that. So so we're well, so we're taking stop, stop taking patients after a certain time in the year. At we, the health department. We don't budget for these services. All right. Well, this this is a, as you said. This is a pretty large increase. This is something we don't do. We we are privately contracting this out. All right. So you so what what's going to happen when we run out of this out of this money? To keep doing it, when when the, when this organization runs out of the money, they raise it through private means. They don't have enough money to serve their customers. They have, so they have to raise it through private means. So when Davidson County runs out of this money, potentially it's going to cost us. It's going to cost money, which may take away from our schools, or take away from our fire department, our police department, maybe even some other health service we have to. Could force a tax increase. Would you? I disagree with that. So what, what do you know about Metropolitan Budget? And their, I mean, how, do you, do you know how much, we're, how much surplus we have this year? Do you know? They're going to be offered these contracts. They know about how many patients they can serve. If they think they can do it with this money, they can take the contract. If they don't think they can do it, they don't have to take it. I really don't understand why it's so concerning to y'all, because this is permissive I don't understand for these health why. departments. I don't understand why you're trying to bring legislation to Davidson and Shelby counties when we don't need it, Representative Hensley. Okay. You can move up, here and run, move up here and run against me. I'd like that. Stay on the bill. The sponsor and Leader Turner, both, stay on the bill. All right, Mr. Speaker, he, asked, he, he made a question about two years ago. We had some letter from some nurse at the health department. When you, who, can I ask you, when you, when you, you proceeded, you proceeded, John, you say you, uh, John White was there before you were, right? Are yeah. you obligated, are you obligated to live up to anything John White committed to while he was your representative in that district? I don't think so. All right, we got a new mayor and a new, new regime, whole new health department. So, so they're against this. They don't want this. If you're so sure of that. They can turn down the contract after 30 days. I just don't understand, Representative Hensley, why you are doing this. Let me ask two more questions, Mr. Speaker, and I'll sit down. One of them is a statement. I want you to remember the day. I want you to remember the day, the date of this date, okay? Because you, this will come back to revisit it. And one more question. You said you provide Planned Parenthood uh, services, right? You, family planning Family service. planning services, you do right. that. Have you declared a conflict on this? I don't receive Title X family planning Fun. But you are in this business. I don't know. You may be getting. You might. You, there might be some way you can benefit out of this. Well, you, I do not not benefit at all from this bill. Let me uh, let me make a statement, if I may. There's going to be a lot of people called out of order. I've got a feeling in the next few minutes. I won't listen to any more personal questions on what. Representative Hensley's beliefs or thoughts are, the questions will be about this bill. Both caucuses have met. Both caucuses know how you're going to vote on this bill. And I don't want to hear the same thing over and over and over. And it, it, everyone in this chamber knows I'm fair, and I would tell this side of the aisle the same thing. So let's move on. Leader Turner, you're right. Speaker, I don't have anything else to say to him. All I ask you is you hit that gavel equally. Tonight, it's not been going too equally. You've been calling our guys in a heck of a lot more than you have the other side. Just be fair, and we'll, I'll leave you alone. I will be fair, sir. Representative Hardaway.